chapter 74 the question is given the correct sequence of reagent for the following conversions will be here in the starting compound there are two functional groups C double bond O which is called ketone and CHO which is called aldehyde. Here ketone is converted into 3 degree alcohol and aldehyde is also converted into 3 degree alcohol. Four options are given as we have written here. Now let us start which option is correct. First of all if we react this compound with AgNH3 whole twice OH minus which is called Tollens reagent. All of us know that Tollens reagent cannot oxidize ketone, but it will oxidize aldehyde. So, the product will be C double bond O CO2H. This is the first step. After that, if we react this product with the help of H plus CH3OH, then as this compound having uh, carboxylic acid as a functional group, it reacts with alcohol to give ester as product. So, in the second step, the process is called esterification, the product we are getting this. After that it reacts with Grignard reagent CS3 MgBr methyl magnesium bromide. At first it reacts with C double bond O. and then again we add another 2 equivalent of CSC MgBr it reacts with ester system. So, st step by step we add Grignard reagent and we are getting different types of products. and at last we add H plus O M G B R is converted into O H and C C S 3 C S 3 O M G B R again converted into O H. Ketone when reacts with Grignard it gives 3 degree alcohol and ester when reacts with excess Grignard again it is giving 3 degree alcohol and that is the final product given in the questions. So, according to the uh, options first is Tollens reagent, second is H plus and methanol and third is Grignard, but it should be present as excess. So, answer is 1. The Tyndall effect is observed only when the following conditions are satisfied. First statement is given to you, diameter of dispersed particles is much smaller than the wavelength of light used. In such cases, uh, we re, uh, observe the Rayleigh scattering, not the Tyndall scattering. Option B, the di uh, statement B, the diameter of dispersed particle is not much smaller than wavelength of light used. This is the uh, exact statement of NCRT in surface chemistry chapter uh, 5 page 139 was option B is a fact given to you in NCRT in the page mentioned. Now, we come to see a statement the refractive indices of dispersed phase and dispersion medium are almost similar in magnitude and option D is the reverse that is refractive indices of the dispersed phases and dispersion medium differ greatly in magnitude. This is the simple statement given to you in NCRT this is a fact, but uh, if you want uh, more information we can say that Tyndall scattering is observed only when dispersed particles that uh, are basically light scattering and dispersion medium that should be light transmitting. So, there should be much difference in the refractive indices of dispersed phase and dispersion medium then only Tyndall scattering would, would have uh, high intensity. Hence, the correct statements are option statement B and statement D. These two statements are correct 
where in statement B it is told that the diameter of dispersed particles should be comparable or not much smaller than the wavelength of light used and option D it is said that the there should be much difference in refractive indices of dispersed phase and dispersion medium. These are NCRT statements given to you. Hence, correct option would be option 2. Question number 80, uh, pucha gaya hai, major product obtained in the following reaction. If we observe this reaction, it includes alkyl bromide, the, uh, these are two phenyl rings and we have tertiary butoxide, potassium tertiary butoxide along with heat. As all we know that elimination reaction would be favor by using first bulkier base. We are using bulkier base in any reaction, it would favor elimination reaction E2, biomolecular elimination. Second, if there is a heat, higher temperature, then it also favor elimination reaction. Hence, this is an example of E2 reaction. E2 reaction can be written as CHBR C6H5 and this is your hydrogen base O B U T. It approaches H simultaneous elimination of these two and we just get it alkene C6H5 CH double bond CH C6H5 trans obtained as a major product. Since in all options only option 2 contains alkene, hence answer is 2.